Hey everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, my plan today is to show you what I got at the thrift on Monday. I've got very few things uh, despite being there over three hours, so that won't take very long. And then after I show you what I got, I plan to just put on some music and work unless somebody wants to come on with me and hang out. That would be great. And I'm hoping to stretch this to two hours so people have something to listen to while they work or take a break. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Hey, just as always, um, when I go live, I start getting messages and things like that. And so, you know, oh, today's sales suck. Yesterday's sales sucked. I've actually made more today so far than I made yesterday the whole day. So um, I don't know. I've been changing something on my Poshmark. I'm now listing everything instead of $20. If it's a $20 item, I bump it up to $25. So that when Posh, when one shop sends out my offers, it sends them out for $15 instead of $12. Uh, I don't mind taking $12 on things, but things that were just listed yesterday, I don't really like um, having a $12 offer sent out. So that's how I'm going to combat that. I don't know if that's going to Make me lose sales on older items. I don't know. And another thing that I did a couple of days ago was um, my items that are listed six months are usually 30% off. I've taken that to 20 to try to just squeak a little bit more money out of that, you know, six to month to one year um, section. So I don't know. I'm just trying to make some more cash basically. So let's see who's here. I saw that some people had come in. Hey, Bridget, I'm glad you got to join me. Maybe after I show the haul, if you want to come in and work, that would be great. And then people don't have to just watch me work on this screen. But I just thought, well, I can just put on some music and you can chat with me or your friends or whatever for about an hour. Um, hey, Anissa, how are you? And Glenn are both here. Thank you. Hey, Texas Bell, long time no see. Good to see you here, girl. One sale this morning so far. Yeah, I mean, like I had this amazing weekend. Well, pretty good weekend. And then now it's just like stopped. So um, I'm not I'm not panicked or anything. I had that happen about three weeks ago. I had that happen because I looked on my graph and I saw that I had a really, really low day. So I don't know. I'm just not going to worry about it. So my problem right now is every time I go to my honey hole on Mondays, I'm getting fewer and fewer things. And I don't know if it's because I'm being pickier. I don't think so. Um, like I usually get a hundred things for sure, you know, at least. And then about three weeks ago, I think I got like 80. And then um, last week I got like 70. And this time I got like 73. So that's not enough to sustain me because I list about 95 new items a week. However, I am getting appliance parts. So that should kind of help that. But I only have three machines to part out. So my choice, I feel, is to go on Sundays and pay 50 cents extra, 50 cents more per piece. Maybe there will be some other items there on Sunday. There were several resellers there yesterday, I noticed, and I'm wondering if they didn't grab some of the brands that I'm looking for. And then, or my other choice is to just keep going the way I'm going and just continue to really do inventory and change titles and pictures and run my old things back through because those things are selling when I am tweaking the listing. And then that will give me more drafts. Um, I really need to shrink my store, so that's probably the way to go, but I'm very reluctant. I want to go out and get new stuff. So what's everybody doing today, guys? What's everybody drinking? Is there a red, white, and blue thrift in your area? No, we don't have that one. No, never heard of it before. So I am sitting on a 40% off value village coupon, but again, that's going to up my cost of goods. 
and I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to rely, rely on my honey hole as long as I possibly can and get those things for really, really cheap. And I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might go to the flea market on Sunday to look for appliances. However, it's supposed to be 60% chance of rain. Uh, I don't know if I want to chance it or not. So we'll see. Um, I do have an announcement. It's really an unofficial announcement. However, my work hours are going to be changing next week. And um, so I'm going to have more time to do hangouts um, during the week. And I think that's really needed because I don't see that many. I don't see that many places to go on YouTube where people are just hanging out and able to work and chat. Now, if there are, please let me know in the chat what channels, because I haven't been able to find them going on. So I don't know. I just like having something on while I'm working. Hey, hey, um, Crystal, how are you doing? Good to see you here. Drinking an apple crisp latte. Yum. Although I don't like coffee, but yeah, apple crisp anything sounds good to me. All right, let's go ahead and get on to this small haul and then um, and then I'm going to start working and maybe somebody will want to come on and hang. Um, so this is a men's St. John's Bay 4XL shirt, uh, short sleeve. I think I did find a few men's shirts this time, but my tub is way over there, way over there. Kind of messed up on that. I'll throw them over there. So I'm just going to haul these men's shirts up really quickly. Uh, Chaps, 4XB, blue plaid. I don't know what brands are selling for you guys right now, but um, Cabin Creek is selling so well for me right now. I, I found several Cabin Creeks. Uh, Susan Graver, 3X. I normally am not really getting too many sheer items, but because this is a Susan Graver, 3X, I'm going to add it in. Got it. I've kind of slowed down on my on my sheer items a little bit. Uh, this one is a Croft Barrow 3X t-shirt with um, floral pattern. Croft Barrow has super duper picked up for me. And I, I really i am happy. I did get a bathing suit here. It's a brand new Lane Bryant size 20 bathing suit. Isn't that cute? New with tags. Really pretty. Got to get that listed this week. Bathing suits are starting to sell when I'm selling. <laughs> Try not to panic again. Quacker Factory 2X. And this is a really pretty knit black with the chain. See, it's like a chain across it. Okay, so speaking of that, I do have a um, one reseller box left and I believe it may have a Quacker Factory. Yeah, it's got Quacker Factory in it. Probably just one piece though. I've been having trouble finding Quacker Factory lately that's not flawed. And so this is the second I have already sold a reseller box and this is the one that's available now. It's 20 items plus sizes extra large and up. $100 free shipping and those are the brands that you will find inside the box. And I think that's a pretty good box there. So I got logo, Lori Goldstein, Reba. Reba always sells well. I mean, all of these, I don't put them in there if they don't sell for me. JM Collection is another big seller for me. There, I think there's a one or two really nice LuLaRoe plus size dresses in there as well. And um, so if anybody needs a plus size reseller box, please reach out to me. And we will get you set up. I take PayPal only right now. You've been learning how to make your own. That's fun. Uh, Cajun Roots Johnny got his bingo channel taken down. Don't know the reason why. Oh my gosh. Why on earth would that be taken down? Is it this his, is this his second time to be taken down? Uh, I'm thinking like a couple of years ago, he had his original channel taken down or am I, um, thinking wrong? Re correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Didn't he have an issue with his other channel? Oh, okay. Well, 
You like them, Val? Never heard of that before. That's probably outside the Beltway. They have good prices. We have Texas Thrift here. Oh, no, what? that's Terrible Swamp Picker. He was just talking about bingo this morning. Did that happen today? Oh. <laughs> oh, no, Beth. Slow sales. Yeah, today and yesterday. Um, I'm correct. Yeah, he did. This is second one. Okay, another Quacker Factory. This is a 3X, and this one has a yellow, and it has these really pretty studs on it. If I had enough for another reseller box, I'd do it, but I don't, I don't have enough. Uh, George 3XL. This is just a men's beige plaid. Be surprised. George sells. Okay, this is obviously a t-shirt. Driveway Drinker. Uh, extra large. Cute. And it's another men's shirt. Oh, no, this is a women's shirt. Now, the reason I think Cabin Creek sells so well is most everyone I've picked up anyway says wrinkle-free stain release. This is 18W button-up lavender stripe. Uh, about a three-quarter sleeve on this one. But I get a lot of short sleeves. These things sell super fast, guys. I think my mother used to wear car, uh, Cabin Creek years ago, if I remember correctly uh this might be a bathing suit okay this is a swimsuit it's got it's a um, forever 21 3x it's black with silver metallic that's really cute huh it's like a knit though i i, I wouldn't want to wear that but somebody will i don't want to wear that in the water it's like be like a sponge. Lula Row 2XL is another patriotic t-shirt. I've got lots of patriotic shirts in my store. Um, next one is a keyhole something or another. Keyhole back and keyhole front. This is a Marisa's extra extra large. Wow. Those are cute. Keyhole front, keyhole back. Very, very lightweight. Very, very soft. Yeah, very, very soft. All right, next one is a white item. I don't really like to get white items, but uh, this is obviously a Torrid. Size 3, which is a 3X. Oh, it's inside out. There's something wrong with it. If I turn it inside out, that means there's a spot or something. This has got adjustable sleeves um, with the button. So I guess roll tab sleeves. There must be a spot on here somewhere that I saw. Um, I don't see it right now, of course. I'm going to throw that in the spot treatment pile. I turned it inside out if it needs help. Uh, Ruby Road Petite Extra Large. Man, this is this is so pretty. This is great for... It's semi-sheer, though, but this is so pretty. Oh, my gosh. Great for holidays. Um, well, this is more than semi-sheer. This is sheer. But it's pretty. Actually, they just opened, apparently, but Custom Julia... Jeweler seems to find really good stuff there, but they only have one in Houston and Dallas. They need one in Austin, San Antonio. Yeah, I'm probably going to go to Austin, not this weekend, but the weekend after to go sourcing. I do find good prices in Austin. Just want to let you know so you could check it out sometime. I would love to hear what you think. He seems to find a lot of expensive purses there. Hmm. That I'm sure their price of goods is not... Um, what I pay and I'm just very stubborn that way about paying what I pay. And, um, I mean, I don't even want to pay 40% off at value village, but I'm going to, I'm going to go see if they have appliances and then I'm going to check out their sleepwear because my value village down here, their sleepwear section is just incredible. Um, Lula row two X, another t-shirt, I'm pricing these at $24.99 best offer. 
typically get about 15 for them. So, uh, Land's End 26W. This is a button up, let's see, three quarter sleeve shirt. Land's End selling, of course, right? Another Cabin Creek. This one is a 14, which breaks my metrics, but I don't care on this brand right now. I'm going to go ahead and I think I brought my metrics about three or four times. Uh, this, I'll let y'all, I don't know if I'll let y'all see the wrinkle free. Now that one doesn't say stain release, but it does say wrinkle free. And it's true. When I hang them up up here, I never have to steam them. I steam them anyway, but I wouldn't have to. They're totally, I can bunch them up. And they will not wrinkle. So this is pretty, whatever it is. This is probably Alfred Dunner. Alfred Dunner 3X. This has got uh, rhinestones at the top. Cute t shirt. I'm really pushing the t shirts this summer. I really think, I'm hoping these t shirts sell. Okay, this is a long sleeve soft sweatshirt. And it's by Positive Tees, extra, extra large, 20. Meet me at the pumpkin patch. This thing is so soft. Oh, my gosh. Uh, really, really soft. Really pretty sage green. Um, if anything you see you want to buy, there's still $10 free shipping. Just message me. Oh, I know what. I've got a new Juju song. Let's play some Juju and see if anybody gets a sale. put my banner up because I do have a new cha-ching song today for you so somebody needs to get that play Glenn it's usually you so if you're still here Glenn make a sale uh hey Jean how are you first time watching do you show on here and sell on eBay yeah uh I sell on eBay and Poshmark nice to see you here and um, I don't know that this is the first time you've been because you've got a wrench. So maybe you've been here a long time ago because you have a wrench. And I usually don't wrench you until I recognize your name. So and I don't recognize your name. So it's been a while. Been a hot minute. Hey, Mike, what's up? What's up? Uh, like I was explaining before, I'm going to show this haul and then I'm going to work. And if anybody wants to come in and work with me, that's great. If they don't, I'll just play some music and I'll just work. I have I have about five or six more things I really got to get listed before um, I go on the clock. All right, Secret Treasures Extra Large. This pajama top is just too cute. It's a fleece top with a llama on it. And like I've always told you guys, the the one graphic sells best in the secret treasures unless it's coffee. All right. Uh, the crazy knife seller. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, Gene, eBay, Poshmark, Etsy, Marketplace. And I'm sure others on here sell in other places, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not selling on Etsy right now on Mercari, but I, I have in the past. Um, Croft Barrow t-shirt 2X, just, I'm not going to turn it down, um, since that brand is selling right now for me. You have any size large, uh, for what? I do sell size larges, but my main thing is plus sizes, but I, I will pick up larges. Um, a lot of my extra small to larges right now in my store are marked fifty percent off best offer because I'm trying to I'm trying to weed all those small sizes out. Um, okay, this is by Robert Lewis. It's a three X. I've never I don't think I've ever sold this brand, but it is a pair of harem pants, and uh, I, I love them. 
I, I'm, I wish that I wore that size because these are super, super cool. But another Torrid Super Soft Knits 2 Black. And what I like about this one is it has lace sleeves. So, and it's got like a little gathered waist there. Cute. Two as in two X. Did you just sell it a crystal just now? Um, silver Suki jeans. I wear size kids like 14 and girls pants. Oh my gosh. Good for you. Crystal, let me know if you just sold just sold it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, she gets the first, she's the first one that gets the new Ching song. Here we go. Congratulations, Crystal. I think I just made a hole in this. I hate it when that happens. I'm going to have to put a little clip on that. Whenever I take staples out, sometimes I make a hole in the fabric. Dang. Okay, this is by Allison Andrews. I have no clue. I don't think I've ever sold this brand either. So, what is this? This is a sleeveless, um, is this a jumper? Let's see. No, it's a dress. It's really cute, though. It was cute until I put holes in it. <laughs> but, you know, if you have um, long hair like I do, nobody will see it. Um, hopefully the holes won't get bigger. I don't think they will. That's one bag. Um, I think I got hit on at the thrift store a couple of weeks ago. Um, I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys. Uh, I'll tell you what happened, and you can tell me if I got hit on. There was this lady that um, she she had um, come up to me and asked me, like, you know, about the prices, because there's, like, different price points and stuff, and I was telling her, and she's like, oh, you come here often here? And I said, yeah, every Monday, and... And then, you know, we were just talking and then she's like, um, would you like to go to coffee with me afterwards? And I'm like, I uh, can't, <laughs> but I don't know if that's a hit or not. But anyway, I don't know. Yeah, in my store, I have extra small to larges and they're both of them are 50% off. If you want to shop my store, um, my link to my store is in the description and if you put the coupon code paddle oh no row your boat that's the new coupon code row your boat you get 50 percent off of everything in the store but like i said most of my smaller sizes are now marked down 50 percent or best offer so yeah okay sales have been so slow it's been frustrating I know I've had a heck of a last two days. That's, I mean, it's crazy. I don't know. Torrid size four, which is a four X. This is a um, cold shoulder sweater dress. I think. I don't know if it's a dress, but no, it's probably more of a sweater. Let me get that off of there. Um, and then it's got a split back. You know, this is not the time of the year. And then the hem, and Crystal, maybe you can help me with that. What do you say when the hem is more of a fabric, a different fabric 
than the actual piece. Is that is that something that I could mention in the description? And if so, what would I say about that? Um, I don't think I've ever sold that before. Liz and Me 2X. This is just a Christmas t-shirt, but I love it because it's got all these little beads on it. That jingle, or not jingle, but they move. I still sold, I sold another Christmas sweater last week, so. Oh, gosh. What is this? Hmm. <sighs> All right, Catherine's. I've never sold this. 3X. These are, um, they're like sweatpants, but they're really cool. They have the gray on the side, and they're very, very soft. I mean, I don't know if I could call them sweat. I guess I could call them joggers, but they're just so soft. And they got pockets, and oh, they're just... I don't think I've ever had those before. I've never, I've been in Catherine's stores before and I don't think I've ever seen them in the stores. So that was unusual. I think that's like one of my only Catherine's I got, which I was very bummed. All right. This is a 2X Scrubs, uh, SB Scrubs. And this, I know you probably sell SB Scrubs. I only got it because it was a 2X and it's butterflies. And I don't know how long i mean my plus size scrubs have been selling pretty well hi callie we can't go anywhere right now dog wants to go for walk uh avenue skinny uh size 22 these are pull-on jeans they're black in really good shape so oh my gosh I had a guy come right up and ask if I was single. Chris was in the next style. <laughs> Definitely sounds like a hit. Yeah. And and she was butch. You know, she had a um a baseball cap on and she had like a men's shirt on and you know, but I guess it bothered me because I was like, Am I putting out these vibes? Because most people that meet me say that I don't know. Um and uh, chiffon trim hem. Thank you. I sell men's clothes, uh, Jean, but I only sell 3XL and up. Yeah, love the scrubs. About to list three right now. Awesome. And I don't know if I told you in this, uh, when I do the pre-owned scrubs now, it is telling me I don't have to put the UPC code anymore. I'm so glad. There's a lot of my scrubs that are listed just under women's tops because of that reason. Okay, Avenue 1820. This is a wowza. Uh, all this bling. Wow. This is beautiful. This paisley color, uh, greens and earth tones. That's pretty. Thank you guys for everybody who's praying for Finney. He's had a good day and a half. So uh, we're hopeful that we get to keep him around a little longer. He's he actually went to the groomer yesterday. I was a little bit nervous, but he did he did well, and his paw's better. He had hurt his paw, too. Rose and Olive. I don't know if y'all have ever sold that brand before, um, but this is just a really cute. A Paisley is, like, a really big. And here's another one. See, it's got the, the bottom is different. I didn't know if I should mention that or not in the listing. I don't know if it matters, but this looks like another men's shirt. So this is a Claiborne 4XL men's shirt, black plaid. And I mainly sell men's plaid and striped shirts. I did sell a Donald Trump shirt this morning on Poshmark for $15. It was a uh, lavender I can spot those Donald Trump shirts pretty well. All right. I got a petite large in this because this brand sells really well for me. Heavenly Soft Carol Hawkman Sleepwear. It's a petite large. This brand sells really well for me in sleep bar. So I went ahead and got the petite large. Um, it's really cute. And that I'll have no problem selling, selling that in that size. Mm. I did find some pajama jeans last week. I was so happy about, but I, it's another one. I, I think it was a large. I got those pajamas jeans. So well, 
for me. Uh, Caribbean Joe Extra Large. This is a t-shirt with ties on both sides. This one I think has shrunk a little bit. So, unfortunately. Uh, Cold Water Creek Extra Large. This is so cute. Watercolor pattern t-shirt. Lightweight. I'm not purposely getting t-shirts. It's just all they seem to have. Denim and Company. This is by QVC uh, 3X. I just listed two of these uh, this week. Different colors. But this one's blue, velour. Um, I listed a purple one and a pink one as well this week. All my inventory has been put away. I'm so happy I had failed in that area. I had it piling up everywhere. And tomorrow's the day we get repiped. So our whole house, they're going to cut into seven walls. I'm, I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, St. John's Bay 2X. This is a sleeveless dress with a, a defined waist. Cute. I know what I'm going to be doing tonight. Measuring clothes, right? Uh, Lemongrass 3X. This is another brand right along with Cabin Creek that has been selling really well in the plus sizes only it's crepe and like the medallions on on it it's it's really cute and i found out about that brand because my mother-in-law had some of that in her closet and i listed it and it sold uh hey adam how are you i don't know that you realized i was on um please join adam and i tonight um Let's see if I have, I think I have a banner for that. Uh, tonight at 6 p.m. Central, we're going to be talking about eBay C CPR, which is kind of ironic because we're going to be talking about how, I, how my store tanked last year and now that it's revived, some of the things that I've noticed uh, that probably caused it and what helped it boost back up. And then Adam, we were just talking, sales have been crappy the last two days. <laughs> so I don't know about that, but, uh, <laughs> well, you know, Val, that's what we call, you know, Butch, that's the only way. I, I have a Finn kitty laid up right now. Oh, you do? I'm so sorry. All right. He put the link. Thank you, Adam. It is. Okay. Sales were crazy yesterday and crappy today. When you say crazy yesterday, Bridget, weren't they were they good crazy? Because I thought I talked to you yesterday and they were bad. Was that were they good yesterday? And I'm getting you mixed up with someone else. I had so many people messaging yesterday, and it's so funny because uh, the people on my podcast, on my OCD podcast, a lot of them are from Australia that I've interviewed or England. And so they're messaging me and it's like three o'clock in the morning and I'm getting ding. And over there, you know, they're awake and I'm asleep and I'm like, uh, but so I'm, I don't know. I, I've talked to so many people the last couple of days. Um, okay. Let's see. Who we got here. Uh, Suzanne Beatro 2X. This is a dress. This is a little cute dress but what i liked about it was the lace up on the shoulder right there and it has pockets it has pockets too side pockets so mackie if you're watching later i didn't see anything in the thrift that specifically made me think of you but maggie keeps saying i'm her stylist Okay, Writers by Lee. Um, these are 24WP Writers by Lee. The elastic waist jeans sell so well in my store. And they got bling on the pockets. And I understand because they are comfortable for big girls. But these are straight legs, unfortunately. But that's okay. And then, did I get another pair? Torrid. Uh... 22S. 
yeah, these are also tapered. But I had a case open up against me on Poshmark yesterday for some Torrid Distress Jeans. And I'm not really sure. I've never had anybody complain about my Distress Jeans before. But I guess they were too distressed. And Poshmark accepted the return. So I don't know. I'll have to see when they get back what they're talking about. But. Maurice's extra large. What are these? These are cool. These are like Palazzo pants almost. They're really cool. Um, they're not at wide leg though. So I don't know if you can call them Palazzo's if they're not wide leg. But they're just, they're not harems and they're not, I don't know what you call them. And uh, that's the second bag, and then I only have one bag left. Told y'all I didn't get much this time. I was really bummed. I kept looking at my watch and looking at my my clicker going, you know, Calvin Klein 3X. This is a sweater dress, but it's sleeveless. So, very cute. Um, when I first saw it, I thought it might be a romper, but it's not. It's a, a knit. Sweater dress, sleeveless. All right, we'll get one more. Let's see how much I paid for this. I paid $69.28. That's like the cheapest I've ever gotten out of that store in a long, long time. Oh yeah, they were good yesterday. Okay, I got yeah, I got definitely got you mixed up with someone else. Then I showed you my impressions because I didn't understand one day one could be so high and the low the next day. Oh, that's right. Okay, you're right. Sorry. Wish it was an Excel. I know. Okay, popping out. I hope some of you join Beth and me tonight. All right, we will. Yeah. Bye, Glenn. I would say, you can still say Palazzo, even though they're not wide leg. Okay, thank you. That's what I, that's what I thought, but. I want to get an eye nad. <laughs> I do have a return coming back for a dash egg cooker cover. Uh, because they found their cover. So now they don't need it. <sighs> okay just let it go Beth all right this one's lavender and black animal print uh croft and barrow it's a cardigan so cute um I might actually try this on because sometimes in the office even in the summer it's cool in there and I have my heater by my feet but you know guys I love purple and this is really pretty and soft I might I might keep that one we'll see yeah, I say that all the time, don't I? Okay. Oh, I tried that Lands End jumper on, and it showed too much of my stomach. So I put it in a reseller box because I the sleeveless actually didn't bother me that much. It was the pooch in my stomach. I was going to wear it at Easter. but All right, we've got a hoodie here by George. It's a 3XL. This is a men's hoodie. I got it because it's short sleeve and it's camo and it's 3XL and I just thought it was, I don't know, I just thought I would try it. I don't get much uh, sports wear, active wear for men, so we'll see. Alfred Dunner, 3X, really pretty peacock, really pretty peacock. Peacocks are popular all right here we go this is a secret treasures this is what i'm talking about um this is a pair of pajama pants though but it's coffee but it's all over they're capris but that's really the only pattern i buy now is the coffee ones so i'll check the chat in just a second um, this one is a World Unity Extra Large. This is a dress. Mm, mini dress. Sorry, my nose itches. Somebody's thinking about me. 
with a medallion and a shark bite. I don't know. It might actually be a tunic, but I don't want to stand up right now. So it might actually be listed as a tunic. Uh, Chaps 2X. Chaps, again, is selling really well for me. Oh, hey, Phil. The kids, hi, kids, just finished looting and pillaging. Me, going to sell clothing next fall, hoodies and whatever they call those sweatpants nowadays. What did you get, um, Phil? All right, this is a Land's End 3X. I, I mean, I'm going to get a Land's End 3X regardless. This is like a little a lightweight sweater, but uh, it's burgundy, but like about it was to have the little buttons on the sleeve. Land's End has definitely got a new following, maybe younger people. White Stag, extra large. I don't typically pick up White Stag, but I love this. I just loved it. And... It's got the over. I don't know. I just love that pattern. I just thought it was so pretty. And it was a, what did I say? An extra large. I don't know. There's something about that. And this, I don't know if it had ruched sleeves. Just a little bit of ruching on the sleeves. I don't know. I just think that one's a winner for some reason. Could be totally wrong. Mm. Another Paisley. I mean, I covered almost the entire store this time, and I never do that. And I don't, I don't, I don't know what I did differently. Like, I don't know. Normally, I cannot get through most of that store in three hours. I usually still have like almost half the store left. So I don't know. I just wasn't finding things, and I just kept moving quickly. And then this one lady she started talking to me and then I talked back. And so I want to be happy, you know, nice and everything. But then when you talk back, then they talk back again and then they go to the next aisle and then they're talking. And it was like, I couldn't get her to shut up. I couldn't get her to stop talking to me after like the first five times. She was very nice. But I was like, Oh, I gotta, I gotta concentrate. Lands in two X. This is a mini dress. Uh, I've sold this before. But it's in a different pattern. But I've sold this before. I don't know. Somebody could even maybe use this as a cover-up. But I, won't, I don't know. I might put that in the title cover-up as well. It's pretty lightweight. Uh, what does this say? Oh, Ron John Surf Shop. I love my Ron Johns. And I sell them all the time. And this was a medium. So I went out on my metrics. But it's a tie-dye hoodie um love me some ron john the only thing about this one is it doesn't have a city uh you know sometimes they'll say coco beach orlando florida cancun that's the only thing about this one i'm wondering if this is a fake because of that and it doesn't have anything on the back so I don't know. It's by Ocean Drive. I wonder if this is a... Can they fake Ron Johns? Does anybody know? Um, they're so popular in my store. I wonder if there's a way I can find out if there's a counterfeit to that. Oh, I thought that was a security tag. Another Cabin Creek, 18W, wrinkle-free, stain-free. And this one is lavender. And this one is long sleeve. Man, I found like three now, right? Is it three? Goo-hoo. All right. Next one is uh, T by Talbots 2X. Really cute. T by Talbots sells really well. I know there is a T by Talbots dress in one of the reseller boxes. I just don't. Let me see if it's in the one that I still have. Uh, nope, the one that already went out has the T.Y. Talbot's dress. All right. Oh, gosh, this is pretty. 
This is Westbound Extra Large. Look at that splotchy paint design. Extra Large. Super soft and stretchy. Love that. Okay. Check the chat in just a second. Fe uh, feathers extra large. It says Mama Bear. This is for my, my daughter. I get her Mama Bear shirts all the time. And, it, and she loves the really soft ones. So. Mm. Trying to get through this bag. Ava and Viv 2X. This is a keyhole back. It has uh, kind of puffy sleeves. A really pale pink plaid. Really cute. I don't know why my nose keeps itching so much. I guess it's the pollen. Mm. Okay. Uh, what does this say? Faith. Extra large. This faith. Amazon returns essentials hoodies still in their bags up to 5x fair selection of colors passed on girls cat and jack tops and bottoms I'm not versed enough hoodies I can't screw up yeah cat and jack and didn't sell for me I mean this children's and you know, doubt it's a fake it's just weird that it's like they sell stuff that does not have locations on them okay well normally the tag says Ron John and it didn't say that on there and I didn't notice that so I don't know wouldn't think anybody would fake them Terra Sky 4X this is a long sleeve tee with animal print getting to the bottom uh, this is a, another probably Terra Sky 3X I love this I I just listed one last week like it that's pink. This is the one that has the cutout sleeves. So, and all the bling right there. I don't think I don't think that one sold yet. I just listed it. And then the last one I can't read it. Oh, it's inside out. So something's wrong with it. That means it's got a spot or something. Um, Secret Treasures 2X. It says, um, yeah, I see. Uh, this girl loves to sleep. It's fleece. So if it's inside out, that means it needs to be spot treated first. It's weird how I found the spots in the store and I'm not finding them now. All right, we oh, oh, got one more. Uh, this is a Leoma Love Grove, maybe. Yeah, Leoma Love Grove Large went, uh, went off my mattress. Anybody want to guess what animal, what bird that is? Is that a uh, crane? Possibly. Anybody want to take a guess? I want to say crane because usually she has water birds, but not always. But. Yeah, and, and this I have to do that when I'm at the store. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't I don't notice it. And then if it goes through the wash and you don't spot treat it, you're screwed sometimes. Anybody want to guess what this is? A crane. I, I think it's a crane, but see the body? I don't know. Nobody's saying anything, so I'm gonna pass on that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start working. I need to, I need a list. Does anybody want to come on and work for uh, about an hour? If not, I'm just gonna turn on some music and start listing. I do an air dry a lot of my stuff, even if it doesn't require it. Um. Yeah, I just had a, a new with tags item, and it had, it. you know, normally if it's new with tags, I would just take the tag off and wash it and then put the tag back on. But this one had, like, 
all kinds of tags. Like it had different tags. It had sticky tags on it and stuff. And there was, it looked like shoe polish on it, you know, and I really didn't think I was going to be able to get it out, but I did. I just held that part in the sink, got grandma's spot remover, ran it through and got it in this hanging right now. And it looks like it's going to dry perfectly. I don't think I'm going to have any problems um, selling that new with tags. I don't, I don't, but to me, it looked like, to me, it looked like um, shoe polish. I don't know. If you air dry it, you might have a chance to get a spot missed out. Yeah. I don't know. Stop sharing screen, it says. Okay. Maybe. I don't know if that music is too loud. If that music is too loud, you can always turn it down, right? I'm going to list that Laura Scott um, nightgown that has the pet kittens on it. That's what I'm going to list. And let me know, guys, if somebody wants to come in here and um, work with me. I have no problem with that. I, I would love it um, if you would. Got a new offer. I just listed that Catalina. At least I know I'm not probably going to get one more sale <laughs> today. I've been, really, I've been really sweating it today. I don't know. open there we go guys if y'all get tired of that music uh tell me and i'll change it too because to me that right there is like repeating itself made two sales today but at least one was 300 on posh awesome crystal i think that music is too, too loud
I lost my size light too. I had to close all my windows. <laughs> Uh, my nightgowns now. I'm putting my um, dress length template too, and on cover ups as well. that offer. She's waiting. saying my Rolo is not working. I'm going to stop sharing my screen for a second here and see what this offer is.
are you, all of y'all resellers except me? Uh, I'm looking up here, Jean. Looks like it. Jean, maybe you came in on my plus size clothing sale that time. I'm wondering if someone sent you over here for that. I used to have plus size clothing sales on um, eBay. I mean, on YouTube. But I stopped doing them because people just weren't buying. They, you know, I was spending like an hour holding up clothes and nobody was buying. So, all right, let's see. I have this or not. Make sure I have it on Poshmark before I. Yeah. Okay, I just listed this this week. So. Yeah. She wants to pay $15 plus shipping. I will definitely take that. come over from Kelly's channel or you may or maybe you're a friend of Sharon's Never had a sale over 180 on Posh. Um, yeah, I don't know what my highest sale was, but mine would have been bundle sales. I don't sell anything that's high price like that, so. Okay, this was on my haul last week. This was that real cool accordion Liz Baker top. I said it could be worn at a festival. In fact, I think I put it, yeah, I put festival party in the in the listing.
get back to the comments. Keep losing my mouth. Swing coat with faux fur. Wait a minute. Hold on. I have a lot of high dollar sales there and on Depop. My highest sale, when this says there was a pair of high heeled Crocs. Bridget, I did have an $1,800 sale on Mercari. Wow. It's $300 sales of swing coat with a faux fur, a fox fur collar. Beth, I'm going to send you a pic through Facebook to see if you can help me with keywords. All I can think of is granny core shawl sweater. Okay, let me, um, Let me see if I've got my Facebook up. Because I want other people to see it. Okay, everybody. I just need your help. Why can I not find them? Okay. She's saying granny core straw sweater. Oh, it's kind of like a poncho too. Or a cardigan. It's kind of like a cardigan poncho. No, I wasn't ignoring you. I was just in the middle of something. I wanted to keep it, but I'm allergic to real fur. I didn't know they allow you to uh, sell real fur, actually. Okay, cape, capelet. There you go. Yep, always count on crystal, huh? see now I don't know where I am so hold on a second this is why I'm, it's very difficult for me to um, switch windows and I, I forget where I am <laughs> I got so much on my mind right now I got so many things to do before tomorrow when they invade us I'm not looking forward to that at all when they invade us but We won't have water for at least one day. Oh, you didn't sidetrack me. I sidetracked me. See, what I should have done is I should have just finished that window before I opened yours, and I didn't. And I know better than that. I know better than to do that when I'm in the middle of a, a window like that. So guys, basically what's going to happen is my new schedule. I'm basically demoting myself. Um, I'm going to have Monday, Wednesday. Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays completely off as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I still, I'll still be on call in case there's an issue at the office, but I, that means I can source all day if I want to. That means I can, um, I can hang out all day if I want to, and I don't have to worry about it's almost three o'clock. I can go to my parents and not have to take my laptop with me because when it's three o'clock, I gotta be on the clock. It's gonna be so freeing. The killer is that um, I have to pay her out of my salary for taking my hours. And I'm not really thrilled about that, but the 
that's too. No, I don't want to do that. That's too. Yeah, that's how I feel about it is one step closer. Um, she needed more hours, which came. I, was, I wasn't going to do this till the summer, but she came to me the other day and she said she wanted more hours and like pronto. And I'm like, well, then I haven't let my boss know this yet, but he, he'll be okay with it. I mean, he knows. He knows. And then three more years and... I'm going to be officially retired and the only thing I might do for him is like his accounting which won't take me that long. I mean a morning of my time and I can do that on my own time possibly. And if he does, I, I think I've already talked to him about it. I think he already told me yeah he'd rather I do it instead of having to hire somebody that doesn't know his, his business. So I don't know. My Rolo starting today is printing backwards. <laughs> like normally it prints this way, but now it's printing this way. And it's weird because when I grab it, I have to turn it around because I have, I like it a certain way. And I don't know what caused it to do that. I don't know. It's kind of weird. This dress I'm really worried about because I keep going back and forth as to whether it's brown or black. Um, sometimes I look at it and I think it's black. No, it's brown. I know it is. I, but then when I was taking photos, I'm like, that's not brown, that's black. I don't know. I think it's brown. I think we talked about that last week on the haul, too. Um, like geometric. I don't know. We have a well here, and when we have no power, we have no water. Going a day without water completely sucks. Been there. Yeah. Uh, we have a swimming pool, so if we need to flush the toilet, but the problem is they're repiping, so uh, we can't really do that because there won't be pipes for the water. <laughs> so, but we, we have her mother's house. Um, her sister has the house now, and we're going to go in there if we need it. It'll be fine. We're lucky. You know, but we don't have to go down to McDonald's or something. Um, I just hope it's back on that night because I've got to go to work the next day and I got to take a shower. And uh, sorry to make y'all dizzy, guys. I should have gone down to the bottom here. And, um, you know, I got to take a shower before I go to work. So I'm hoping. Um, then we have water. I mean, I think as long as they haven't hit any snags with it, there's no problems with it, um, we should be okay, but I don't know. It is hot as heck in here, man. I'm not a fan. I'm going to try to change the song in here. I don't even know how to hear the song. Nobody else has made a sale this crystal? Sense that the hem is that it's ten. That's got to be wrong. Waist cannot be ten. It's like that's so much child's dress.
I made a tiny set. $12.99 sale right when you came on. My only one so far today. Sales have been beyond slow. I did, but wasn't sure if you're still doing it. Oh, did I take my banner off? Yeah. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, let's play something for Bridget and uh, Anissa. We already played the new one for. Uh, let's just go back to an oldie for the goodie. Hold on. Scale school bus for sixty dollars. Wow. I've got this listed as black. I still think I don't know what color this dress is. I'll let y'all look at the picture and you decide. That black. I mean, that's black. If you look over here, it looks brown. If you look over here, it looks black. I don't know. I think I should save myself and put in the listing cookie brown. <gasps> I don't know. I don't know what to say. I really don't. Know. I just don't know what to say. I still think it's it looks brown to you too. Dang it. Uh, I think I'm gonna put in the description could be brown depending on the light <laughs> or something because I don't want to get an iPad. I really don't. I'm not even going to put a uh, collar. I'm just going to skip it. Alright, I'm going to... Oh, cha-ching! Did you hear that? Finally. Alright, I'm going to... 
color wheel too. Put it in the description that it looks black and brown. Yeah. That's why I don't really put like teal or sky blue or anything like that. I just put blue. You know. I don't put aqua blue. Anything. Oh, this is a heavy dress. This way so open. I sold a bean grinder this morning I just listed last week and I got another bean grinder I need to part out today tomorrow. Oh, they paid for that uh, hoodie, that Catalina hoodie.
check front of the post office. I'll see you in a few minutes if you're still on. Okie dokie. Gotta send that big sale. I don't know that I'll be on much longer, Crystal or May. I don't know. It just depends on if people are hanging out or want to hang out or not. Uh, some people may find this boring. Oh, I spelled true wrong. Look at that. Bad, huh? The truth is not, not even an E on that. Right. It's a nice survivor, so I won't be um I won't be list uh, drafting the night from my bed. Kind of taking a kind of, kind of taking a break from drafting, which shows I don't have that many drafts. done on Saturday and probably the grave taken out. Um, and I'll probably have her trim it. And then, uh, Saturday night we're having gay night at our house. And then Sunday I'm going to the flea market and my parents. So, y'all know Dawn and Mary, uh, two hip chicks, they're thinking about buying some records from my dad. Uh, I gotta go up there and find out what what titles they have. Don and Mary said they might be interested in buying some of them. So you're listing whatever you can find in your eBay room, mostly jewelry. That's cool. Bridget, did you have fun on your vacation? I didn't really talk to you about that when you came back. Oh, probably the postman is here. Okay, okay. Bum crack pickers here lurking because it says we got five people here, and that's Bridget and Anissa are the only two. Really. And then hey, Des is here. How are you, Des? So, um Alright, next 
we have a Secret Treasures cover up. It was in my haul last week, so I raised her back. So it goes into a category called Royal Flush, which means it only it never goes down 10% off. And also on the swim cover-ups, like I said, I'm putting the dress length template in there. I just failed to do that when I was drafting it, which I should have done to save myself some time, but I didn't do it. So. my size sleeve pattern template. I'm going to treat it like a sleeveless dress. This is right there. If anybody has any um, ideas for me to make my listings faster, I'm always up for that. At this point, I just need, I feel like, I mean, this is not an old computer. I just got it a year ago, a year and three months ago. It is just the slowest freaking computer I think I've ever owned. And I don't, I don't know what else to do make it faster and I when I bought it I told them I want a fast computer and they still just didn't it's just terrible all right for some reason I did not do the AI on this one so I'm gonna have to read it take some stuff out of it I'm sure It is made in China and can be found under swimwear, women's clothing, women and men's shoes categories on eBay. Why does anybody need to know that? That all gets taken out. It's dumb. I need to get my hair done. I'm looking so scruffy. Hmm. It was a fun two nights and a uh, two nights is enough in Atlantic City. Really, never been there. Is it just a bunch of gambling? Hey, bum crack, there you are. I'm doing okay, uh, Destiny. I'm, I'm a little flustered because I'm on live. I'm trying to read the chat and work at the same time. It's a, it's a little difficult to not make a mistake. It's difficult to go quickly. It should go quicker than this. That's okay. These Poshmark ones did not go down enough. I don't know what I did differently, but my pictures are coming out lighter now, so I don't know. 
I don't know if I had a setting off on it, but they're coming out pretty much normal now. Alright, how many drafts do we have? Um, 64. I don't have all of them. Let me inventory two more boxes and that'll give me about 80. Tomorrow I'm going to be partying out machines and trying to keep the dogs calm. Okay, it didn't print. It says error in printing. Robo. So then I just have to wait. You were working in the background, working and listening. Listening. One more. Okay, now this is a child's Dorito shirt. I thought it was a an adult, but it's it's too small. I, I, I don't know. I think it's I think it's a child's. So listen and that's Charles. And I think I put in there, be careful with measurements or something. I don't know. I'm so terrible at sizes. Because things shrink, you know. $85 even sell my high sale since I can remember. Thank you for the look. Oh, you're welcome. Let's play something for you.
uh, sell for that amount of money? Congratulations, this is a great sale. Oh, a lotion. Some kind of lotion. That's so awesome. Problem is, like I keep changing the song, and then I gotta go back to the other screen. Okay, You can send me a picture of it if you want, and I'll put it on the screen. Skincare shower gel. Oh, I think it was lotion. I think it was something bad for me. Okay, now. And I'll get it in just a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on this window, okay? I just don't want to mess up again. Let me just stay, stay with this for just a second until I get to a stopping point. I don't want to do it. See that right there? That's that Sea World shirt, that new Sea World shirt. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm staying in the window for a second. If I didn't have such a slow computer, it wouldn't matter, but it just, it just, ugh, it lags. It's like, it's being run by a hamster on a wheel or something. Alright, I don't, I don't feel kids that very much, so I gotta be careful on this one. Kids. figure out why it's coming backwards. I must have clicked something that's flipping out or something. I got not for that. Got it listed for $19.99. That's offer on eBay. Alright, let's take a look at 
what she sent me. All right, serious skin feather, new silky body cream, foaming bath, and shower gel lotion set. That's a mouthful. $84.99 new. Okay, so where do you get stuff like this from, Anissa? Do you get them at garage sales or estate sales, things like that? And how do you know they're new? Looks like you didn't uh, have an offer on it either. You don't take offers. That's, how'd you get into that niche? That's a very, uh, I bet it took you a while to learn it, didn't it? All right, you're probably, you may still be learning it. You paid $6 at Goodwill for both. Oh, so you just did the comps on them? Is that what happened? And how did you know they were new? Were they like sealed or something? Great. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing my screen here for a second. We go over this talk for the last few minutes. Turn this freaking music off. I just couldn't find it. Okay. Mm. Love selling stuff like that, Bridget says. I do take offers. I willy-nilly, if I put offers or not, depends on how I feel. Okay. Let me see if they are sealed. I'm just wondering how you knew they were new. They have been up since September. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, well, I think I'm going to get off of here and go take a little break before I go on to um, work for my boss. I got, yeah, I got like an hour and ten minutes. I might, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Still got about four items that need to be listed. I'm probably going to do some more inventory. That way I'll have probably 80 or 90 drafts for tomorrow and then I can chill out. And since I won't be here much Saturday and I won't be here much Sunday, I probably should do that. I probably should just inventory for the rest of the day and get a bunch of drafts up. Yeah. They are factory sealed under the cap. Okay. That foil thingy sealed. Yeah. Why did you say no? Why are you saying no, Bridget? What are you talking about? Let me find out what's going on here. Uh, how many of y'all like the Divergent series? Has anybody read the books or watched the movies? I, um, if you like the Hunger Games, you'll probably like Divergent. So it's Divergent, Insurgent, and I don't remember the last one. Um, Ashley Judd is in the first one. Uh, Tony Goldwyn is in the first one. Um, and anyway, I can't think of the other the guy's name. Shayla Woodley is in both all of them, and then the guy that played on uh, Downton Abbey. God, what is his name? Anyway, I really like them, so I'm probably gonna watch the second movie today while I while I do inventory. That's probably what I'm gonna do. I talk as much in YouTube chat as I do in real life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably get us together. And um, I don't know if um, anybody else would have a chance to, to talk. It was nice listening with others. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, Bridget, how you like this without, with just me on there. I couldn't get anybody to come on. But it was, yeah, I didn't want to just sit here and list by myself. So I thought we would try it. Never heard of it. Do you like if you like the Hunger Games, you'll like Divergent, Insurgent, and the other. The books were really good. I read the books first. And um but I yeah. The movies, um kinda weird a little, but I don't know. It just 
Oh, and uh, Kate Winslet's in it, too. That's the other one. There are some big names in that series. Yeah, Bumcrack's the quiet one. Beth, does Sarah Boyd on Whatnot live close to you? That's off subject. See her sign stuff from Ben's a lot. I don't know who Sarah Boyd is. It, that might be the lady that Summer talks about. I went to the bins by my house the other day, and there was nobody there filming for whatnot that day. So I don't know if you're talking about the same person, the person who buys the employees lunches and stuff so that they can film in there. Um, if so, yes, they film at the bins by my house. My thought is they probably alternate bins. We have at least three bins now in Houston, uh, but I've only gone to one. I don't, I don't find any success there. So I went there the other day just to see if things had changed. There was not one appliance part there, and so I'm not going to waste my time. But there's a thrift store like two parking lots down that I do usually get pretty, um, pretty lucky there. So I thought, well, I'm just going to swing into the bins and see if it's different. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely planning a trip to Austin in the next couple of weeks and, and get as much in my trunk as I can. And I'm hoping Saturday I might see some garage sales. Um, I think I'm going to take my own car when we go get our hair done and hit some thrift stores because we go out of town to get our hair done. We're crazy. And there are a couple of thrift stores there. I'm going to hit. And that way she doesn't have to just drop me off. Well, somebody's at my door. Hold on a second. Somebody's at my door. just uh, somebody delivering uh, boxes so anyway I think I got it I got these boxes I think from the boxery I don't normally buy from them so um, I was running low on boxes uh, she's in set Texas somewhere I forget such a huge state oh well then yeah yeah she yeah um I was really surprised they weren't there and I even messaged Summer and I said I'm at the bins right now and I don't see your your whatnot person here but I was just surprised they let them do that because I've seen them tell people to not film in there so I guess they just changed the rules since these people buy their lunches I don't know I, I gotta do a little bit more cleaning up in here so guys thank you so much for joining me i had a great time it was great visiting with you i will probably not have a live stream on sunday night because i will probably be going to the flea market and going to my parents and it would just be too much of a rush but you just never know i hope you have a great day i hope your sales improve and um any of you that are having slow sales i hope they improve for you and don't forget to keep paddling. We're all in this business boat together. Thanks for sharing your time with me. Bye.